So there are uh, three uh, major reports that came out uh, trying to assess the economic contribution of uh, the Energy East. Uh, most of those look at the, the federal or the national scale, uh, but some of them break them down into sort of provincial shares. And what they look at is uh, the number of jobs that are going to be created, they look at the impact on GDP, and they, uh, they look at the tax revenue. That, those are the sort of big three in a lot of these, these uh, reports. Um, what they ignore entirely is any of the externalized social and environmental costs that I think are so important to, to include in this. It's bad public policy to be making a decision on the basis of a kind of a rose-colored interpretation of the costs and benefits of a, of a project. And if you willfully don't include something like the social cost of carbon, then there's this huge chunk of costs that somebody is going to be paying the bill for down the road that you're just deciding. You're making a very explicit decision to ignore those costs. When we look at Energy East, we have estimated that it's going to result in an additional 125 megatons of carbon dioxide emitted every year. And there's some dispute over how long this pipeline is going to last or be in use, maybe 25 years, maybe 40 years. But if we take the conservative estimate, we look at a 25 year uh, span, and we add that up, 25 years of 125 megatons of carbon dioxide emitted every year, that accounts for a full one-fifth of Canada's fair share of the remaining global carbon budget. Uh, we're going to be facing all sorts of, of costs. Some of those costs are very difficult to measure because they're things like human suffering and displacement and things that aren't adequately captured by a monetary value, but some of them are hard economic costs. Here in Manitoba, one of the issues that we face year in, year out is a great deal of speculation over whether or not there's going to be flooding. Um, if we have warmer, wetter seasons, uh, even south of the border where our water comes from, uh, we're going to be faced with probably more frequent floods. If I'm living in northern Manitoba or if I'm in the boreal forest, I'm looking at that forest dry up and we're getting hotter summers up there. Uh, the Fort McMurray fires, uh, you know, are the kind of incident that we're likely to face more and more of uh, if we continue to not do our part in mitigating uh, climate change.